Greetings fellow Demon Slayers, this is Timon and Mari here today with another Action Timon and video. So for today we have a really quick one, I just want to clear up some confusion for new players. I see a lot of questions like from people asking how to identify a character's subtype. So for example, Kirara here would be considered a demon, but how do we know this? So, let's go run over to the arena screen and I will show you. When you come to Arena, there's this whole mess of an interface, and if you go to the bottom, there's going to be this itty-bitty little triangle that most people probably overlook. Like, I'll admit, I overlooked it for, like, my first few months. So if you click on it, what it's going to actually show here is, like, character matchups and who's good against who in PvP, but honestly, like, it's not really that accurate. Like, for example, it says Yuki should beat Renko, but Renko can, like, easily beat Yuki depending on her build. Anyway, back on subject... You also see here it says, for example, Igawa Asagi, and then it says human. And then if you go down to the line, Sakura is a human, Yuki's a human, Renko's a human, Morisaki is a human, Su is a human, and Shiranui is a human. So all of these characters would be considered human. That is their subtype. Moving on, you'll see here Emily is considered a machine, Koronai would be a demon, Obro is a demon. Asuka is a machine, and Kirara and Ingrid are both considered demons. So, I just read over them real quick, but there's no need to commit them to memory because the information is really easy to find inside the arena. If you need to know your character's subtype, you need look no further than this itty-bitty triangle when you're at the arena menu. So, why is subtype important? Moving over to your inventory, we'll go to Orders. So certain supporters actually directly affect your subtype and they've been becoming more numerous lately. So I'm just going to give like a few examples and that'll be the video. So one big example would be Shiryuki here. She was actually one of the first supporters that us over here in Global saw that actually dealt with character subtype. So basically if you put her on a demon type character, so example Kirara, Ingrid, or Obro, she would increase that character's overall damage by 36%, just for being a demon type. The current new supporter, Ina, also works the same way for machines. So we know now that Emily and Asuka are our two machine types, so putting this supporter on them would reduce their damage by 15%, and up to 30% if you did finish your Ina and she is at S level 5. Another example would be Sakuya here. Sakuya does the same thing that Aina does, but for demons. So again, if you give this to any demon type character, it will reduce their damage taken by 30% 30, 30 or a scaling amount depending on what S level that you actually have the Sakuya at. So it's good to know your subtype to understand how you can gear them as far as supporters like this. I don't think there are any supporters right now, currently, or at least that I can think of, that actually affect character sub subtype or actually work with character subtype in that regard. But there's one other place to check regarding character subtype. So if we come over to the supporter formation. Okay, so you see here these set effects, depending on what supporters you have unlocked and what formations, may also deal directly with your subtype. So the, one of the first one we see right here is called Evil Eyes. It would increase damage dealt by a human type character by 10% and reduce damage taken by a human type character by 6%. So if I were to have all of these supporters and say put this on while I'm using Asagi, Sakura, Renko, Shiranui or what have you, they would get these bonuses because they are human types. And then if we scroll down a little bit, we have the UFS time and ends. And again, reduce damage taken by a machine type character by 12% and increase damage, increase critical damage of a machine type character by 12%. Again, this would work on Emily and Asuka. And there are a bunch of examples here. I'm not going to bog you guys down with the details. But like, here's another one, making a splash. So this one is good for demon types. It would increase damage dealt by demon type characters by 16% and increase critical rate of demon type characters by 6%. So 
So again, not bogging you down, but just a few examples for each type. Now, remember in regards to these set effects, they are party wide. So if you're still farming the tower, for example, you will have a team of three. You won't have just one time in it. So keep these in mind. If you set this, for example, making a splash to help out your Kirara, if she's on a team with, for I don't know, Yuki and Emily, Yuki and Emily will not get a set effect from this. So keep in mind your character typing when you are going into tower, and keep in mind what set bonus you are giving to your team, because some characters will not be affected depending on typing and what have you. And I think that's just about it. Like I said, I just wanted to explain subtype because I know there are a lot of new players and I know they are very confused. Like, I've seen the comments in a bunch of videos and I just thought I'd get the information out there in a video. Because whenever I say, for example, like, oh, yeah, like, Kurara's a demon, I, I always see the comment, well, how do you know that? This is how I know. And this will help you to be able to abuse your character. Always factor in their subtype, especially when it comes to gearing them and when setting up set effects. And keep your eye out for supporters that do affect subtype because the past few events have been giving supporters that work with that. And from here on out, like, I think it's going to be something that definitely takes a place in the current meta because it seems like they want to release supporters that, you know, work with your character's subtype on top of working with whether they're melee or range. So it's going to be interesting to see what sort of gameplay mechanics we get in regards to subtype in the future. So with all that being said, we will head past this Kirara, and that's going to be the video. If you guys found it helpful or informative, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out. And from there, you guys have a great rest of your day. Good luck in all facets of the game. You boys, boys and gals, go ahead and take care, and I'll catch you tomorrow with another video. Bye bye